hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll look at how we can transfer files from a cisco switch or cisco router to a pc and we'll be using scp or secure copy now i'm going to show the commands i'm going to be running here i have a notepad and these are the commands we're going to need to configure we need to configure an ip address on uh, interface vlan 1 we need to configure a local username then we need to enable triple a then we'll configure authentication logging default and then authorization exact default local and then enable scp server then we need to configure a domain name uh, then we'll need to generate crypto keys rsa keys then after that we'll come to the windows pc and run a command to copy files from copy files from the switch to the to the pc so let's go ahead and configure the, the command. So the first one is to configure the interface. So interface VLAN 1 will configure an IP address uh, 172.16.1.171.255.255.255.24. Now we'll do no shot here. And let's go back into configuration mode and configure the username uh, privilege let's give it 15 secret it's going to be cisco next to we'll configure triple a a name order and a authentication login is going to be default local now a authorization uh, exact default local We'll use the local database and then enable SCP server, IP SCP server enable. Okay, configure the domain name, IP domain name, I'll give it an, a domain name. Then we'll generate the crypto keys, crypto key, generate RSA, this 10.24. And then exit. Now let's look at the flash drive to see what file we can transfer. Okay, that's the file right there. And let's go ahead and uh, try and see if we can transfer it to our PC. So I'm going to be using PowerShell. This is PowerShell. I'm in the directory where I'm going to transfer it to. It's through DIR. There's no file in here. Now the command to do the transfer is going to be SCP and Eno. The username that we created ip for the switch is 172.16.1.171 and actually we can try and see if we can ping it first ping 172.16.1.171 and we're able to ping it so let's do the command scp and the file is going to come from the switch so the username eno on the switch IP 172.16.1.171. Okay, now colon, then we'll put the file name that we'll put the path where the file is. It's in flash. Colon test uh, file. Uh, what was it? It's right here test underscore file dot txt and the dot to put it in this current folder. And the password is Cisco. So it says file name does not match request. Uh, let's see. Four slash here. And we're able to transfer the file. If we do DIR, there is a file. Now, if I wanted to try, we can try a different file here. Now let's repeat the command and change this to so that's config.txt config.txt so this is the file right here we'll try and we're putting it in this this folder we're using a dot so dot password again cisco and the file was transferred. So clear here. 
yeah and I have the two files and if you look at the file sizes this is the one so if you look at the file sizes they match 1274 1274 the other one was this one right here 411 then 411 so that's it for this video that's how you can transfer securely files from your Cisco switch or router to a PC using uh, SCP which uh, uses encryption to make sure you're not transferring the, the files in clear text. I hope this information has been useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.